Hey everyone! Okay, so today I am going to read a book about Hanukkah. Okay, so my first graders, you should have learned about this last year and for kindergarten, I know we just learned a little bit about Hanukkah. And this is a holiday that the Jews celebrate. Um, so it's based on religion. And so not everybody celebrates it, but it is something that happens in the winter, just like Christmas is in the winter. So I think Hanukkah is actually happening right now. If people do celebrate it, I think it goes from like December 18th and then it lasts eight days. And I know that it lasts eight days because they also have what's called a menorah and they have eight spots for, they put the candle inside of. And remember they light one candle each day of Hanukkah. So it looks like on the cover of this book, two of the candles are lit. That's probably after the second day. So this book is called The Night Before Hanukkah. Looks like maybe that's brother and sister, maybe. And this is by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Wilmer. So let's get right into it. Twas the night before the eight days of Hanukkah. Families were prepping from New York to Santa Monica. And by the way, this is also, this right here, the star, that's also a symbol of um, Judaism, which is their religion. The children soon nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of chocolate gelt danced in their heads. And by the way, nestled, it says the children soon nestled all snug in their beds. Nestled basically just means if you imagine yourself all snuggled up into the bed, it's almost like you're inside of like a nest. You're nestled in. The very next evening, our family gathered round. The festival of lights began right after sundown. I heard some rhyming words in there. Our menorah was set out by the window with care. It's a heirloom passed down from our great grandma Claire. So there's the menorah again. Can you guys say menorah? Menorah. And guys, see if you can hear those rhyming words in this book. Dad put on his Yarmul, I don't know how you say that. Um, they have a special hat that they wear and I actually can't remember how you say that. Yarmul, I don't know. He pinned it down on his hair. Then mom lit the shamash candle after saying the first prayer. So I heard hair and prayer. The flames, how they flickered, our faces cast in light. We sang Rock of Ages while the candles burned bright. Then we opened our presents. Oh wow, earrings for me. And a building set for my brother who's three. So during Hanukkah, they also, I guess it, you know, depends on families and different traditions. Um, but if you celebrate Hanukkah, you may have some time of gift giving as well. The next night we played dreidel, dreidel. That's a top that you spin with four Hebrew letters. Nun, hey, gimel, and shin. We each tossed in a coin made of chocolate called gelt. I snuck one and ate it before it could melt. So they have certain games that they play and certain foods that they eat. It was my turn to go. If it lands on Gimel, I win. But Shin turned up, so 
so I put another coin in. Our dad won that game when our coins all, coins all ran out, but he divvied up his winnings. Sharing is what it's all about. Looks like they had fun playing that game. On the third night of Hanukkah, after the candles were aflame, Dad read the story of Jewish heroes. Maccabee was their name, or Maccabee. Let's take back our temple, the Maccabees led with a shout. The Jewish people fought and won. They kicked the enemy out. So a little time of history, a little time of storytelling. Then they cleaned their holy temple. So this is still the story that the dad's reading. They cleaned their holy temple and prepared to kindle the light. But the lamp had so little oil it could burn for only one night. So they prayed for divine help and help came indeed. The lamp stayed lit for eight days. God had met their need. Before their wondering eyes, a miracle took place. The glory of Hanukkah for all Jews to embrace. On the fourth night, we ate latkes, deep fried potato pancakes. On the fifth night, jelly donuts, the ones my Uncle Dan makes. On the sixth night, we visited cousins. It's a family tradition. The aunts made gravy and brisket. Yummy smells filled the kitchen. On the seventh night, to share our happy Hanukkah mood, we brought presents for others and lots of holiday food. On the eighth and last night, mom had bad news to report. I don't know how this happened, but we're one candle short. Don't worry. I said as I pulled a drawer hand, drawer handle. We can use this one, I cried, a birthday cake candle. So see, it's almost finished. They had seven lit up and they need the last one. Mom placed it in the menorah and then lit, lit them all left to right. Dad reminded us that like our faith, they burned bright. As the last candles burned, like they had for eight nights, we wished a happy Hanukkah to all, the festival of lights. All right, so I hope you guys are becoming a little more familiar with Hanukkah. I think it's a really neat holiday. and I know not everybody celebrates it, but um, whenever you think of those winter holidays, this is one of them. Maybe you have a friend that celebrates Hanukkah. So that'd be interesting to figure out. But um, again, I hope you guys learned something. And I thought the interesting thing, uh, I can make lots of connections to Christmas with Hanukkah. I'm sure you guys can too with the things like playing games with your family or um, eating a lot of food. That's kind of similar to Thanksgiving as well. Um, so those little family traditions are really similar, but I think the thing that really stands out is that menorah and the lighting of the candle. I think that's really neat. So thank you guys for listening and I'll see you soon.